now that I have the enemy attached to the stage dynamically in the game, I want the enemy to be able to move and um, move its feet up and down as it chases after our hero. So what I'm going to do is, right now, our enemy in our library, in our Flash movie, is just a single graphic inside of a movie clip, right? So if I double click on this movie clip and then I zoom in, which I already did, I zoomed way in, you can see um, that, so no, normally it would be, you know, about this big, right? So kind of small, or, you know, kind of small. So I zoomed way in, right? And what I want to do is, is I want to put in multiple images of this character to make him walk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go edit the graphics and import some more graphics in. And I've already done that to a certain extent. I've got one more piece of graphic already in here. I put in Alien 2, which you can see the foot goes up. And now I need the other foot to go up. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, here's, um, let's see here. Here's the first one right here standing right okay notice I've got this black background layer in place of transparency just so you can make it easier to see so standing and then um, foot up with shadow right that's the second one and now I need the other foot to go up so to do that what I'm gonna do is I've got another I made a copy of this first layer and I placed it here there it is we're just standing and so I'm gonna lift this foot up now so to do that, I'll turn on the other one to get the placement. And I'm going to need this orange color, right? And I'm going to need my pencil tool, one pixel uh, diameter. And I'm going to draw this onto this layer. And so this is going to go right here and right here and right here. Okay, and then I'm going to erase the rest. I'm going to turn this off now so you can see this is what I've actually drawn on this layer only, this eyeball. So the foot's gone up. And so now I get my eraser tool. I've set it to pencil mode, one pixel diameter, and I'm just going to erase this part. Right? And now I should have the opposite. So there's this foot up and then there's that foot up, right? And so that is the opposite scenario. Also, I've changed the glasses a little bit. So on this one, the glasses, green, blue, blue, and then on this one, it starts to get lighter, and then blue, and then I want it to go back to dark on the top. On the top one, it's gonna go back to dark. So what I'll do is I'll take this and highlight that and get my pencil tool and I'll draw that in there and then I want this color to go on the other one so I'll get my eyedropper eyedropper that get my pencil tool and put that there and actually it should be the lighter one but that should be fine and one more time, eyedropper tool here and there. So now the colors of the mask are alternating as they move. So I need to save this one now. And I've got the right layer selected, the right eyeball, and I need to turn off the black background so we have transparency underneath. And I'm going to do a file, save for web, for small web graphics. It's set already to GIF, which is what I want. 16 colors, transparency is selected, and I'm going to hit save and save it as alien 3. Save it as alien number 3. Save. That's done. Now back to Flash, and I'll do File, Import, Import to Library, Alien 3. So now if I go to my library, there's Alien 3. I'll drag it into my Alien Graphics folder. So now you can see I have three graphics, right? Perfect. 
So what I'll do now is I have already set a ruler. Notice I've got rulers turned on, view, rulers, and then with the selection tool you can drag out a guide, right, and drag it back. And so I dragged it to the top of the character, right, and I can drag one out to the side also, right. And now what I'm going to do is I will make a new keyframe here, F6, go to my library, drag out Alien 2, right, and then I'll replace it with this one. Delete, and then take this one and place it in its place. Now I like to have exact placement, a little bit specific that way. So I'll go back to the first keyframe, select the graphic, and then on this eye I can see that it's x and y axis are negative 6.5, negative 12.5. So to get act, act, um, exact placement, I'll just select it, and negative 6.5 and negative 12.5, right? So right legs up. Then what I'll do is we're going to go back to standing position, copy frame, next keyframe, paste frame. So now it goes from stand, leg up, leg down, and then time for the next one. So right here, I'll hit F6, makes a keyframe, go to my library, drag out the third graphic, delete the previous one, and then place it into place, right? And then double check my positions, negative 6.5, negative 12 point um, negative 12.5. Hit enter. And so now we should have a walking scenario. I'm going to remove this here. Okay. So we should have a walking scenario now. So if I hit control enter, you can see that the little enemies now are not just a single graphic, but a graphic. You can see the, the shimmering on the helmets and the feet going up and down. It's, they're moving way too fast. So to account for that, I will click on each keyframe and hit F5 to place a regular frame in between each keyframe, which will slow them down. And it's actually going to take two of those. So I'll do it twice. And now, if I hit Control Enter and click here, the aliens are now mo moving and now all they need is some motion so we need to create some function a function to move these aliens and have them chase our hero which is moved by our keys